once again it's heavenly album covers it's a very bright very slightly hot summer's day here in august 2024 and i'm going to show myself and everyone else this very super duper special album it's actually a 12 inch single i saw this single once i think i saw it at uh version records or hmv on oxford street in london in about 1996 or 7 it's called patel rap and um soon after i saw the actual single i heard the song on the radio i think and i uh, connected the two uh, very quickly the song and the album cover go along like um eggs and potatoes they go together like um frick or frack or laurel and hardy and i finally ordered this album this 12 inch single the other day it's a very emotional experience here i have not seen a copy of this in the flesh and also i had i have never seen a 12 inch version of this album cover this is like um receiving the um arc de triumph in the mail and it just kind of you know you've ordered it but um just kind of shocking and this is this is the record store where it came from in england it's uh the company the record company the record store is called vinyl tap in huddersfield west york united kingdom way across over on the other edge of the world and these vinyl tap people really packed it good in a sturdy double-sided cardboard thing with some extra uh, whatever these are uh, packing material and we're getting closer we're looking at the album currently it is in front of us and I think we should go right into it after we um, talk about action figures a little bit uh, action figures are so very popular these days and everybody loves action figures they come in um, star wars um models and uh, cartoon character models and anime models and japanese karaoke models and um uh, i just wanted to bring out some se several of the action figures that i personally own and often sometimes play with this is a early naked pig in a banana figurine that it it uh qualifies as a action figure as a action figure i believe and i purchased this on uh, atlantic avenue in a 99 cent store many years and eons ago and uh, this was the only particular model of this action figure in the 99 cent store they had several other figures that were posing in different poses but um this is the only one i could find that i really liked um, I brought it home. My wife didn't really like it. It was a little bit offensive to her, but it's just a action figure. And I have searched far and wide for additional copies of this naked pig in a, in a not in a blanket, in a uh, banana, in a banana blanket. And so you can, you can move the pig in the blanket or the pig, the naked pig in the banana anywhere you want. You could, um, put the action figure on your hand. It works all sorts of different ways. Um, next we have Gumby. Gumby is world famous. He still is a big hit in 2024 because he is uh, um, able to do almost anything with his arms and legs. You can He can do a full facial press and he can touch his uh, the bottom of his uh, strange little leg. He can do the splits and he can he can wave at uh, the naked pig in the blanket and he can uh, wave at the album cover and at Harvey Picard. Harvey Picard is over here. Harvey Picard or Picard um, was a um, writer and a record collector. He, uh, he was uh, um, he did double duty as a record collector and a writer. He was on David Letterman a lot. He was um, very acerbic and not quite nasty he was never nasty he was just uh, opinionated and he was uh, always giving his opinions in forceful manner 
and uh, the iPhone almost went dead there. And his he's he's really an, uh, a uh, bobblehead here. And um, when Gumby comes up, he's just like a he's kind of afraid. He's Gumby's trying to cheer him up. And uh, so let's get to the the uh, 12 inch of resistance. And it's called um, Patel Wrap. This is a 12 inch. I think it was a minor hit or maybe a major hit. Um, the artist is someone named, um, the musician I think is, uh, where is he? I can't find him. Where is he? Well, uh, oh, I don't know. We can find out later or you guys can find out later. But um, this album, this song is called Patel Rap and it's all about a rapping news agent a rapping Indian news agent in England. And if you've ever been to England, you know for sure that they have uh, news agents on nearly every street corner. Um, news agents sell everything. They're like miniature department stores. They have uh, gum, cigarettes, uh, candy, uh, Beano magazines, uh, pamphlets, uh, pipes, clocks, and everything. And so this very extremely extraordinary cover image is it's an amazing composition i think i might have to get the uh pointer out and um i'm not sure if this is actually the uh person named bali who put this all together it might be i'm not sure but bali has a very common look to himself he's got a tie he has kind of a um Schickelgruber mustache up here, a Hitler mustache. Some people call it a Hitler mustache. I call it a Schickelgruber mustache. And this image here, this person, this man in the news agent is surrounded by things like clocks, um, sunglasses. Uh, let's, I think that's a little better. I can put a light on it. There he is. And just everything, rolling papers, pipes, uh, Cigarette lighters, sunglasses I mentioned, um, tobacco, loose tobacco. There's Wrigley's gum. And um, compositionally, it looks like a mess when you first look at it. But um, there's a big glare on there I don't like. Oh, well, it's a little better. But um, let's put it up there. The only thing you really have to do is look at this cover, and it's, that pretty much tells the whole story. Um, We've got this uh, very uh, low swinging horizon line down here that goes, it's, it looks like it's gonna fall off the compositional uh, foreskin of this image. And um, this, this little area here is supported by this and it kind of flows up, flows up over this Wrigley's gum straight up. And these look like little air vents, but they're actually uh, some sort of cigarette ad and um, we've got a, a little call-out uh, piece of ribbon here, maybe good lettering, very clear. Um, when you're buying records, it helps to uh, see the titles of your records clearly. And we have some indistinct stuff back here. And um, just the way, look at that. Uh, it lines up down there. It's got a central uh, male figure in the middle. With a lot of uh, compositional work, you have to uh, have a main focus plus peripheral um, activities going around on the edges. Um, but he does have a uh, Ron male or a Hitler or a Schickelgruber uh, ma uh, mustache here. And uh, But this guy looks really happy. He, he doesn't look like either Ron male or Hitler. And equally as extraordinary is the the back cover of uh, Patel Rap. I think it has a different version of the song and it has a song called Can't Live Without You. And this had some sort of a correction done um, after the fact, after it hit the streets. I think this was a big hit. I never, I never have looked up the chart standings of this thing. And here is um, Mr. Patel, I assume. He's waving to his customers. He w he's waving to us. He's waving to the, to the camera. If he was a little person like this, he would be, 
he would be waving back to us. And I think he actually is. And he could wave to the to the light over here. And um, he's wearing um, sandals, which is appropriate. He's not doing a lot of walking inside the news agents. Here are some uh, various advertisements for the evening standards, some newspapers. You can get your bus pass here. Uh, you can uh, you can find out that if you're um, under 16, you can't buy cigarettes. There's little odds and ends that are just endless. There's a house here. Um, there's a house there that looks like a reflection of the house that's across the street. There's some things up here. I'm not sure what those are. And uh, so it's it's very unusual in the fact that it's um, so perfectly put together. Um, it's like the deeper you go into this album cover, the more details you can find. And even beyond those details, you can find further details and um, as many details as you want to find. So, and he, he even has uh, uh, stacks of newspapers down here, the daily paper, um, that's his job. He, he coordinates all of these materials in order to make money by handing out um, items to people. And uh, let's look at the actual vinyl, which is undeniably good. It's really good vinyl. I don't know what, this probably came out in 1996, uh, 7, I guess we could find out. But this vinyl is in perfect condition, and it's on heavy, super heavy um, vinyl itself. It's like a... It's like hardened licorice. It's like, uh, um, it's just very sturdy. You couldn't break this album if you threw it out of a plane uh, over Grand Canyon. And this came out in 1999, so a little bit later. It's on uh, multi-tone records as I get too close to the camera microphone. You know, sometimes I think I don't talk very well because I up, up until I was about 50 years old, I, I rarely spoke. I just didn't like talking to people. And suddenly the dam broke, the dam dam broke, and the Jean-Paul Van Dam broke. And uh, there we have it. And so this is Patel Rap featuring Bali. And uh, let's see who did this. Maybe there's the, some song, some art credits down here. Uh, photo by... Nikhil Singala of Photo Nix. And uh, this is, that's about all we need to look at. He's got some great sandals and there are just a superior number of uh, details here. There's some, here's some business cards on the side that uh, are put inside the glass at the news agent. Um, here are some stamps, remember the Royal Mail um, um, there's a little handwritten blurb for Zippo Lighter, so we could just stay with this album for several years, so I'll have to cut it short. I'm not sure if I showed the Gustav Door book, but it's, it's similar in nature to the Patel Rap album cover. And, uh, It's um, the Patel Rap album cover and this Gustav Door book share many similarities. They, they depict um, real things through artistic means. And there's uh, like the, the Patel Rap has a song with, along with the cover. This book has illustrations with words. So um, in that sense, they are practically the same. I haven't had a chance to look at this book very carefully. It smells like um, it's kind of mildewed. I found it in the grass uh, somewhere and uh, rescued it. So there we have it. Action figures are everybody's friends. There is an action figure for you out there somewhere. And we at Heavenly Album Covers are hoping that you find the action figure of your dreams and that you hold dear to its heart. 
comfort it, feed it, and take it to the bank and let it draw out some money.